Okay. So we can try to farm that out. It's really not gonna it shouldn't be like a big part of it. You just want to uh try if you can, more or less. Oof. A little scared of mages, I'm not gonna lie. Which is kind of the usual theme with me playing. They always have such, like, sneaky damage. It feels sneaky, at least. Got my single target is abysmal. Alright. Um, so, like normal, we're going around, we're looking for secrets. Let's grab these guys. Do we have Defender's Halberd? We have Gladiator's Net. We have Blackjack. I don't believe we have Defender's Halberd. 60 items. We also need to collect some gold. We've been kind of neglecting it. Let's see. It's looking good. Alright, so we're having to walk, like, quite a lot. So our health is going to be nice and low when we get to some enemies, so we just need to make sure we're patient and we, uh, we heal up before we engage anything. Alright. Can't see any enemies, we don't have old map, we don't have anything cool like that. So we're just going to sit here and heal up. Hey, what's up, uh, HWM? How you doing? We uh, got affiliated today, so that feels nice. Um, we're continuing our NG17 run, which we got past uh, H or yeah, we got past Act Three, so our chances are very high that we'll complete it. What's up with you, man? It's been a while, I think. Gotta hate these mages. They're so sneaky with their damage sometimes. Alright. Looks like we're good. We normally would just rush through the whole level, but um I kinda feel like I want the levels, just so we can finish attuning everything. Let's see, good stuff been grinding out NG plus myself. What's your uh, what's your flavor of choice currently? Who are you trying to push on? I don't like those mages. Oh man. Maybe we'll have to resort to just running through. But we did just find uh, Amy of the Kings recently, right before the Act Four boss. So we may be better off than we think. It's just hard to like, it's hard to envision how much a different 60 makes when you have minus 160, you know? Let's see, Paladin is my highest right now at the NG5. Nice, Paladin is really good for uh, pushing levels fast. It also helps all your other characters really well. The extra armor is always nice. What's my setup from the chapel? I'm using Path of the Defender for the 20% less damage. There's really like no other good options besides that, I think. It's so much easier to get um, damage than it is damage reduction. So we're using that, at least for the Paladin. Some of the other ones you would just get more damage. Then I'm using Mana Regen and the Reflection. 
the uh, Retribution. The Retribution is just so good um, at high NGs. You start taking so much damage, so you do so much damage back. In a way, it's, it's just like a big DPS increase. Which is pretty standard. I think all the, the tank builds pretty much do that. If you're playing in groups, you can essentially do whatever you want. But I think some people get tricked into going the lifesteal route. Where I use Crimson Death to uh, get around that. <laughs> um... I mean, I guess technically it depends on your what items you're going for, and it also depends on your sorcerer levels. So like, sorcerer is 4.5, but, well this is in combo, and we're doubling it, and everything else. We get 11 from items, 4.5 from uh, sorcerer, and then we're doubling it. For some reason we have even more. I think we have tune and all, all that kind of stuff and we're at 41 which is probably more than the paladin needs but I don't start the game off with this number I probably start the game off with like less than 20 maybe out, out of zero items so that would be at least minus 22 plus we have like this is giving me three while I'm in combo this is giving me another six while I'm in combo so all of that would be like would be changed um, we didn't start ring of T so having the extra mana early is kind of nice because we can still like charge you know once a second maybe so we're never stuck in a spot for too long um we eventually got ring of tea so now you could argue like oh life regen would be better we'd have 20 life per second but like 20 life per second when you have 2000 i mean it's going to take you 200 seconds to get your whole your whole health back so like i see two sides of it like the ring of tea fixes all your mana issues and Crimson Death fixes all your life issues. So you don't really need either one. Um, but I would say generally, it's better to be able to charge or to heal than it is to wait like 10 seconds, you know, to get 100 health. I don't know. So I think mana is just more valuable. It's, uh, it's, it's flexible as well. I'm gonna have to stop fighting these guys. They're getting kind of like a little spooky. If I can't disarm them fast enough to get some hits in. Yeah, see my health is kind of like fluctuating. At least in the very beginning. That might be too spooky. The levels would be nice, but it's not worth dying. Yeah, I don't think I would take the, uh, the health gen on any character. Maybe if I got, like, Sorcerer ridiculously high to where it didn't matter, but by that time I probably have Priest ridiculously high, and I would still stand by my earlier statements where it's probably better to just go mana. Trying to run with Thief is pretty good. Yeah, I use the same exact build on Thief. Um, I, I think it's just the best setup for most. Most classes, I guess it's, let's see, Thief, Priest, Paladin, and Ranger. Uh, I, I do that tank build for all of them. And then the Casters, the Wizard, Warlock, and Sorcerer. Um, I do them slightly differently, actually, the different ones, but mostly I go left side. Or, sorry, full right side, where you get the... Uh, the bonus damage, you get the magic penetration, and then you also get the crit bonus. And the only one I don't do that on, so I guess that's for Warlock and Wizard. I don't do that on Sorcerer because his mana problems are too insane. So for Sorcerer I go mana regen and reduced uh, casting cost. And that's been working out really well for me. Ooh, yeah, this is getting kind of spooky. Alright. So we at least got that level. 
We're gonna start charging around. I don't feel like I quite have fast enough attack speed to disarm them first. If I had Defender's Halberd, I would probably try to fight more. But the levels are kind of, kind of insignificant. They give you more base health, but like, I don't know if I've ever really had a run where it was make or break, like, plus, what, it's like five base health per level or something like that. So I don't think I've had a make or break run where it was within 25 health that I lost. We are 102, so there's not much more we need. We just need to get up to uh, 105. Yeah, let's just start charging around. Alright, I see a secret. See another secret. Oh, I need to see it before I go any further. Especially with these charged dudes. Alright. Ooh, and bats. Okay. So we gotta get out of here before the bats show up. Go over here. Uh, let me read that in a second. Same thought I messed up by doing it on Sorcerer. What do you do for Ranger? I do um, defense. Uh, mana regen and reflect, but I'm not certain it's the best. It's just uh, it's gotten me up to ng7, I believe. It just starts to get really slow, so that's the only issue I have with it. So that's the only reason I'm not sure if it's the best, because you could maybe go like full glass cannon. You'd have to play a lot differently, but I go full tank. Um, I'm more like confident on it. I guess is one way I'd put it. Uh, mainly for the Act 4 boss. I want to be able to just stand there and tank it. And so I would rather the run take longer than me like, die to it every single time. Or not every single time, but it reduces my risk of like failing the run. Of course. I could see a skill cost build being okay. Range is just strange because, I don't know, it doesn't scale the best. Alright, so we have an imp. We need to get to it pretty quickly. Alright. No way, bro. So M's trying to get me killed. I need to collect more money. I also have a monolith. Um, I guess I think we need more money. We probably need more money. These look like uh, some good ones to kill. I'm gonna go back and get that gold that's in that room. Not sure how expensive the uh, shopkeep on the next floor is going to be. All right, that's a uh, that's about as good as I can get. Anything more than that, I'm gonna start taking way too much damage. I think. Fight the boss, and then we'll go get our monolith. Get 
Okay. Protective powers. Alright, so that was the best case scenario. Silver chest. Don't see any enemies yet. Alright, we got an ace key. Some enemies. Still collecting gold. Not sure what we need. Right, another silver chest. Two silver chests. Alright, and we have a trap. Old map. Okay. Silver chest. Okay, let's check out the old map for a second. Silver chest, silver chest, another silver chest, bronze chest, our shop, another monolith, and a gold chest. Okay, so we got plenty of stuff to get. Uh, let's heal up a little bit before we just run through this. We'll do like one more lay on hands. That should be plenty. Boot of the Giant. Don't have that attuned yet. Alright, just to be safe, let's heal up a little bit before we start charging around the whole map. Chest, chest, chest. Shop, monolith, four chests, shop and monolith. See what we got. Uh, we can get our last piece of the apothecary so we can have more potion charges. That could be okay. We could just go get more resist. Um, wait, why can't we get Stinger or Claymore? Do you already have these items? We must already have them. Yeah, there's Claymore. And Stinger must be in here somewhere. So I think we're getting to the point, yeah, there's Stinger. So we must be getting to the point where we have all the green items in the game. So we're going to start getting repeats. Uh, Sword of Kings is probably up there as well. So Sword of Kings looks good, and probably Apothecary and Robe. I think that'll give us our best bet. Yeah, let's go with that. I want to like sit there and fight all these guys to get more XP. I need to keep my buff as well. That was the second stinger, I believe. Is that right? Stinger and stinger. 
So we either almost have all the green items or the game already knows that we're getting a stinger. No, because we already had a stinger. Hmm, that's kind of strange. I don't know what to think about that then. I thought that only happened when you had the, all the items from the pool. Oh, uh, we'll grab this monolith while we're here. Looking on the walls for secrets, but I don't see anything. Endless potential, okay. So we can charge forever, we can cast everything. There's no more shops, so we're not too worried about any of this money. Uh, let's get our health. Markham's, is that our three piece? That is, okay, so we jumped up like, how much did we actually get? 73, uh, so like 35 for each. More or less. Still, I have plenty of monolith buff for the boss. We could just try to farm out some uh, some XP, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, go away. Let's get our fourth little cross. Heal up. Actually, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. I'll be back in like two minutes. Uh, let's see. Why you pause in the game? Jesus restroom. Passive regen. Um, mainly because I have this monolith buff. That's about it. Just want to keep the buffs. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I would have saved time by doing that. So, what's up, real man? How you doing?
couldn't charge through them. Lucky you get to play the new patch. Yeah, I mean, I hope it comes out for real soon. I know everyone's been kind of like waiting on it. Staff auto casting, talisman. Um, so I know they're aiming towards like the end of the month. So hopefully that happens. But I know people are still beta testing things. So I don't know. Uh, Ace key, monolith, two chest. Two chest. Yeah. <laughs> if it's Necromancer I'm uninstalling. Yeah, I don't want the Necromancer. I think I want like a real warlock would be ideal. Something that like plagues monsters around him and like they take damage over time. Like a character that does damage over time would be cool instead of like current warlock is just a lightning mage, pretty much. Doesn't really feel like a warlock to me. I'm off to play my regular version of heroes. Good luck with the run. Thanks. Good luck with your runs as well. I'll see you next time. I actually want to wait for the protection monolith to wear off before I grab this other monolith to increase my chances of getting protection again. I think that's a good idea. Or I could try to grab it now and get strength. They're both pretty good. I think ideally though I'd rather protection. It doesn't hurt anything by like by me waiting. I can't make it to the boss with uh, with this monolith, and then at the same time, if I grab it now or later, it's like... I guess I could have grabbed it while I still had the, the mana thing, but I think that's been gone for a little while. I don't remember when it fell off. How many monoliths are there? There's like seven now? So it's still like two out of seven. Bring a barbarian or a berserker. Game needs a touch of pure, unadulterated man manliness. I agree with that. Viking, marauder, barbarian, warrior, whatever you want to call it. Berserker. I guess I would like a. I mean, I'm partial to like a death knight type class. A melee that does like damage over time does like slows on the ground or something. I don't think that'd be cool. Um, a real warlock would be cool, but there's enough kind of spellcasters in the game, so that's why I kind of lean towards like Death Knight, where it's like, you're actually melee, you're tanky. Um, it's not the full-fledged like manliness that you're talking about, but it'd be an interesting playstyle, a melee person that does dots. And they could always rework like the rogue or something to do poison. I doubt that's gonna happen. We've rarely taken the right side, so we may take the right side this time. Let's see what we get. Alright, we got strength. So, if we go right side, we don't have to do these little traps. We can just kind of go ahead and progress. Which should mean that we can do the boss faster. Or get to the boss faster. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, two silver chest, one gold chest, and oh right, two traps leading to the boss with three traps. Okay. So what can we do? You go left. Yeah. All right. So if we just go left, a good bit.
There's Claymore. Interesting. Interesting that the shop had Claymore and Stinger, and then it gave me Claymore and Stinger. The shop also had this Talisman of Decay, and it gave me Talisman of Decay right after. It's a little odd that I couldn't buy them from the shop because I already had them, but now they're being offered back to me. I guess I don't get why they existed in the shop if I couldn't buy them. Come on, dude. Alright. Alright, we gotta stand like way up here. Alright. Our gold, but I don't really care. Alright, two ace keys and one ace chest. Spirit cloak. Okay. So let's see. Um, Berserkers could have a bleed and easily bring a new status effect similar to Cripple. All that you said could very well fit into a Viking. Yeah. Um, I was playing Vikings on. Uh, Hero Siege recently, so it was kind of fresh on the mind. But, um, yeah, I was thinking about just, you could port, like, basically any, like, wild class pretty easily into the game. Uh, especially Death Knight. Alright, um, let's get this going. by that one. I didn't take like, any damage though. So that's nice. Still don't want to make it a habit. I can get stunned and if I get breath after getting stunned I just die. So. There we go. I didn't even need my potions. So that was kind of a miss buy. I could have bought something else instead of that. But whatever. Anyway, um, let's look at our stats. So it seems like our biggest issue is definitely Act 3, just the Ghost. Give us a rough time. So damage dealt. Uh, physical damage is 35. Magic is 46. Max damage taken was 723. So not anywhere close to being one shot, but... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Another one down. Let's see what all we can attune. Doesn't look like we can attune everything. Boot to the Giant, extra 50 HP. I guess let's go from the bottom up. I think we have most of this stuff. Greaves the Barbarian. I don't think the item's a big deal. Greens, Spiked Boots. We use those this run. They're kind of nice. 50 damage would be pretty significant. So if we have 9 points left over, we'll definitely grab that. But ideally, if we do 2... Uh, blues, then we're gonna have four stars left over. But maybe we'll just do one blue. Let's see what other, like what blues we even have. Talisman, Wrath, Greater Sphere of Region, Boots of the Giant. So we don't really have anything that's too crazy. Um, so we'll definitely go Spike Boots. The extra damage should be really nice. Um, and then we have for one item. I don't know if this item was fixed to where the attuning actually works, but dealing 100 damage and they reduced the, uh, the the internal cooldown on this so may get Wrath of Thunder God as well. Seems better than the 100 life. Or it's, it, I mean it's technically only plus 50 life. Sphere of Regen is just I don't know. It's like we're never really going to find these things anyway. But 
If we find Wrath, it's going to be a big pickup. So let's go with that. And then we have 13 left. So probably go Cloak of Many Pockets. If we find it early, then we don't have to worry about gold very much. We could get the extra life regen, but it seems like such a small deal. I think I'd rather the utility of not having to worry about gold as much. So in the unfortunate circumstance where I actually find that item, it's not as bad as if it wasn't attuned. Uh, I think Greaves was the only last one that we had. So we're almost done. I don't know how many points we get per, but I think if we if we leveled to either 105 or 110, we could probably finish attuning everything, even with the new items they added, because they added several new blues. I think several. Boots of the Giant. Oh, it's the only craftable blue that they added. This was replaced by another item. This item was added. Yeah, because it was... Uh, nine ninety, and then they added in six more. That sounds right. Cause yeah, we spent some on sphere of time, sphere of warriors, and then the little other ones. So anyway, that is the NG plus seventeen run. Um, ooh, nice clean hundred armor. <clears throat> so yeah, um, biggest issues were definitely just Act Three. From there, uh. It was pretty much smooth sailing the whole way.